Hey everybody, I'm back with another episode. And as I told you in some of the previous videos, I took the Art Station Wild West Challenge and I took the keyframe category because I think it's my weakest point and I'm trying to get better at it. So this is an episode I'm making exclusively for one of the pieces I delivered for this contest. And I'm gonna walk you through all the process and I hope you enjoy. All right, so first things first, okay? What's the idea? Well, I had many options to start with, like a chase scene through the desert, an ambush in the canyon, you know, all those things, a train of salt, a night ritual scene, and many more. But I was in love with almost all of these ideas, but I had, I had to put them away, like most of them. And yeah, it was painful, but I had finally chosen the final four ideas, and I started a sketch. Well, I have to say, I actually thought I was going to be able to get, like, you know, at least a couple more ideas done before the challenge ended, but because I had no clue on how long it would take me to even finish a single piece, I obviously couldn't do it. So, after several doodles and sketches, I started to visualize the first image. The idea behind this is that we are kind of witnessing a scene in which a tribal chief performs a ritual on our main character, who is being supported by his two friends. The background story here probably has something to do with what we created for Sons of Dawn, which is a project I will talk about in another video. So, what they are doing in this image is to forge that link between two souls, establishing a bond and, you know, artificially creating twin souls. So when the idea behind this image was clear enough, I took it to the next stage. Alright, time to build. I was really, really curious about a lot of techniques like, for instance, photo bashing and 3D painting. But for this piece, in which I wanted to portray a crowded scene of some sort of ritual, as I said before, I went for a 3D base mesh. So, um, yeah, I recently followed a tutorial by Andrew from Blender Guru YouTube channel and learned some of the basics to get around in Blender. And since I needed characters, I decided to use Daz 3D to pose, you know, some of them and import the results in Blender. And I must say, Daz is a very useful tool that allows you to get human-based characters in any pose you want. You can render the scene or just save the 3D file so you can use it somewhere else. So after I modeled a bunch of very, very basic assets, I placed my camera and I took the final render shot. This is what I'd say the fun begins, because now it's time to paint. So on top of the render, I just selected areas using the lasso tool and simply painted on top with another layer. I really like the contrast between warms and cools in night scenes, so this one was a perfect chance to try it out. And I laid down some color here and there just to get a grasp on what the color palette would look like. I wanted to see especially what that purple rim light from the moon looks like on their heads and the totem's edges. Now I'm more of a one layer guy, I mean not a single layer but a few layers only, but this time I wanted to see what working with dozens of layers feels like. So after I painted in what I would call the base color, I started to bring in some pictures and blend them into the painting. Some of them were taken by myself, and some were bought from a website called photobash.org, which is an amazing website in which you, from which you can get amazing references, high quality. And sometimes they have free packs, so check the website every now and then just in case, okay? It took a while to find an image that could fit for all the characters, but I finally got it as a base for the clothing and repeated it with some changes. So. I could experiment with different layer modes to get to the right texture and I realized my Photoshop file size was growing too big so before I collapsed everything with Control E, I saved it with another name and repeated this a few more times before the final version. I'm always pressing Control J to clone the selected layer or layers and keep working on top of it so this is what makes the file so big in the end. As you see, I don't focus on rendering a specific area to 100%, but instead, I slowly try to cover up all the image bit by bit and step by step until 
Every inch of the artwork evolves evenly with the rest. And I think I have never used references as I did here. I guess I used references for everything in this image. They, they range from cowboy pants to hands holding knives and so on. The American native culture was something I have never painted before, so I was completely new to it. And since they allowed us to mix it up with other genres, I made this tribe to be located between some giant trees? But it was really hard to describe them as trees because it, it, it is nighttime. They are too tall, so we cannot even see their leaves or the branches, and they rather look like walls of rock, like caves, which wasn't a bad option either, but the point was to portray this place as a secret location, like they're hidden from the rest. So after working some more on those giant totems and constantly checking the values using control Y, which is a command I set up for myself since Noah Bradley told me about this color proof mode, I was approaching the final stage in which only details and some light and color corrections were needed. I will consider making technical videos about shortcuts on Photoshop if you guys think it could be useful and interesting. So I think I can wrap it up at this point, only a few last touches left and it's done. I hope you guys find this video useful. Feel free to drop any questions about it down below in the comment section. I'm thinking about maybe releasing a full length version of this painting with only music. You know, no voiceover, no explanations, no nothing. Just speed painting. But I'm, I'm worried it might last for half an hour or something like that probably. Or maybe I can just make it a Gumroad tutorial. You know, an extended version of this video with in-depth process details and, and so on. I don't know, I just want to hear what you think first. Let me know in the comments or just drop me a message at any of my social media. Thank you so much for your support. We just passed 150 subscribers and I can't be happier about it. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Stay creative.